Bill Nye made his first appearance as the science guy on Almost Live in January of 1987. By 1993, he had a nationally syndicated show, and he was a legend. Here now is the very first sketch where the legend of Bill Nye the Science Guy was born. Welcome back. We are at home, we are at work, we are always constantly trying to figure out what can we do to make Almost Live better. And, what, and it occurred to us that we have not been having enough science on the show. <laughs> have we ever had science on the show? We haven't ever I had it. So. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. Not enough, is it? So we thought, we looked around, we, there's a guy on our own staff who has a degree from an Ivy League college, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For, <it's, laughs> it was a clerical error. Uh, oh, is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> but it is from Columbia, right? No. Where, where is it? You really want it from Cornell. Cornell, Cornell. okay. Carl Sagan was Carl your... Carl Sagan and I were like this. Hey, Carl, hey, Bill, hey. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> so that's why we present Bill Nye, the science guy. Thank you. All right. And so we said, Bill, what could you do that would be science-like? Or... Well, it's just not that so much. I just realized how few people are using liquid nitrogen around the home. Yeah. <laughs> See, we scientists, oh, Ross, 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 yeah. please, really, put these on. You make me nervous. Safety first, I guess. Yeah, okay. safety first, right. All right. Now, for example, see, now we scientists. I feel, like, I feel like I'm in a Jerry Lewis movie. Do you speak French? Huh? No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, liquid nitrogen tips, household tips. Right household on. tips. Right. Well, it's just we scientists. For example, uh -huh. here's an ordinary onion. Yeah. Okay, now how would you dice it? You'd use a cutting board, maybe a knife. Right, yeah. Take you a few minutes, right? Okay. In the liquid nitrogen Into the liquid nitrogen. Doesn't take long at all. It's a time saver. That is, that's a real time saver, isn't Yo, it? Yeah. yeah. You probably like. Uh... Yeah. How are Whoa. you? With... <laughs> All right. How are you with an electric train at Christmas, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What else? Now, uh, when you go to poach an egg. Right. Ordinary ladle. Uh huh. Can we see this, everybody? Yeah. You just put an egg in a ladle. How okay. And we just incredible. Gently set that in there. Uh huh. Now, while that's uh, cooking. <laughs> Now, Ross, uh, you were a bachelor for a while, right? Certainly. And still, you travel quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You know how celery will go limp yeah. when you leave it? <laughs> now, let me show you. You can just uh, set it in the liquid nitrogen. Do you have some tongs? We're going to need them. They're right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Set it in the liquid nitrogen for a few minutes and look at that. Wow. Isn't that nice? Takes a yeah, limpness right out of it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, here's one that I have, as we say in the cooking trade, prepared earlier. <laughs> You Boy, gotta that, be careful with that. Boy, that, that's much better. You hold the peanut butter that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, here's your egg, Ron. Oh, can the camera see this? Look at this. Doesn't that look a yummy? poached egg <laughs> with liquid nitrogen. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that's what, you know, that's what we do it at my house. <laughs> well, no, no need to even take it out. I no, really, that. no. Just dig in. Good. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good on toast. All right. What, uh, and what else can you do? Well, I, uh, I was just going to say, uh, you know how people roast marshmallows have to start a fire? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. It takes forever. <laughs> so I've, uh, what I do is just uh, do in the liquid nitrogen. It comes out much cleaner. It's cleaner. You don't have the sticks to fool with and uh -huh. so on. But of course, the main thing is, uh, you know, oh, Bill, you're not going to put that in your mouth. Are you? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, the thing is that, that there's evidence now that the, uh, Theobroma cocao protein is, is developed in this nitrogenous, nitrogenous cooking method. So what else is new? So, well, it's because, uh, you know, the nitrogen's diatomic. So anyway, <laughs> the, the, the thing is that many people accept now that it is an aphrodisiac. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Nye, the science guy. We'll be right back. Bill Nye, the science guy. Before he was Bill Nye, the science guy, he was just a guy working as an engineer at Boeing when he happened to pop into a comedy club. And they had a Steve Martin lookalike contest, and I won. That led to a friendship with Ross Schaefer, the original host of King's comedy show, Almost Live. I crossed paths with Ross at comedy clubs and John Keister at comedy clubs. Uh -huh. And so they said, hey, do you want to help write for the show? And I said, OK. And then I started submitting jokes. They weren't especially good. While working as a writer for the show in the late 80s, Bill was on hand when opportunity knocked. A guest didn't show up. Somehow, they had to fill six minutes. So Ross, at a writer's meeting, just offhanded, well, you know, Bill, why don't you do that stuff you're always taught me? You're always talking about science. Why don't you do, you could be Bill Nye the science guy or something. I see it jiggling. Whoa! The bit was a hit. It became clear that the science guy should be a recurring character. You created a lot of fire in that studio. A tornado of fire. Oh. I know our facilities manager, Florence, had a lot of anxiety over that. How were you able to keep doing that? We were cautious. We had fire extinguishers around, and so nice. we all got along, since you asked. There's a big uh, cabbage luncheon at the Swedish club. In addition to the science guy. Hello, I'm Bill Nye. Bill also appeared as various other characters. This looks like a job for? Including Speedwalker. Speedwalker. The superhero who fights crime while adhering to international rules of speedwalking. You do a great William Shatner impersonation. Mr. Scott, I need more power. But once you hear someone do Captain Kirk. It's it's pretty straightforward. He was having fun, but he wanted more. And I was worried about the future. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill and his local producers took the science guy to a young global audience. And I decided that getting kids excited about science was the thing I really wanted to do with my life. And what started right here in Seattle has gone on to change the world. And a star was born. To watch full episodes of Almost Live, head to our streaming app, King 5 Plus.